Hello, my name is Renee Thomas and I am a construction software specialist with Sockeye Consulting. And today we're going to do a jump into Sage Construction Management's scheduling feature. Um, right off the bat, you'll see that we are on the scheduling homepage. Uh, it has both a project directory as well as these two quick jumps over to an active projects calendar, um, which would, con would contain any general and project to do's going on within the company. So anything that you've scheduled with a certain date will pop up on that calendar and you'll be able to see those upcoming uh, to do items on that calendar, um, as well as an active projects uh, schedules uh, Gantt chart. Uh, so this Gantt chart, when you open it up, you'll see any projects that have a current schedule in the system created, they'll show up on this. So it gives you a really great way to see any upcoming resources that you have um, towards uh, certain projects or whether project managers on, on uh, several projects, you'll be able to kind of break them up um, within this schedule so you can see where your resources are or where um, you need more resources. Uh, you also have resources underneath this, which is each of your um, resources in the system, such as vendors, uh, labor teams, certain personnel, um, or vendors, they all can be attached to any project schedules where they have work that needs to be completed and all of their um, items will show up in this uh, same kind of calendar format so you can see where um, they land in terms of are they running a little uh, low on resources or do you, uh, they need to be reworked into the system in a way that they're not trying to do too much within it. Um, if we go back to the scheduling tab, you'll also see that there are general project to do's um, uh, as well as project to do's and project to do's that are assigned specifically to the user logged in as well as project to do's that are assigned to your specific company. Um, down below, you'll have your project specific uh, schedule Gantt chart. Um, on this, you'll see items that are, um, these are all the tasks that you have uh, dictated in the schedule um, and what their per current status is. So you'll see how many of those items are under each of those statuses as well. Um, it also does it in a visual breakdown of a bar graph um, and it has number of comments on tasks in the last seven days. So you'll see if there's something that has been um, being discussed pretty thoroughly recently. Um, when you click on the construction schedule, it'll open it up. Uh, construction schedules are able to be imported from a scheduling software or you can create them um, in the system as well. So you can make these as just individual tasks or you can make them as subtasks under a certain general area. So this one is separated by um, You'll see foundation, it has enclosures, it has rough MEPs, and then within each of those, they created subtasks. Uh, they can also be set up where they have completion entered in, as well as um, any predecessors. So it'll be reliant on those items. Um, Beyond that, you can also add resources, whether it is the PM related to that so that they're on each of the items, or if you have a vendor or subcontractor that has to do with each item, you can also put them in as resources. Anyone who's a resource on this will then be alerted to changes made um, in regards to the schedule. So if we scroll down, you'll also see when you do have um, project items that are partially complete, it'll show you that in the schedule. This is able to be exported as both a Excel file as well as a PDF or um, other documentation as well. Um, so here are your resources. So as you can see, you can mark out any of these items that are going to be used during specific portions of the project. That way you know if you're doubling up too much on certain resources. It also can be put into a calendar mode, which can be um, switched out via any of these items. Um, so if you want to add or get rid of any items uh, that you don't want to see on your calendar, you can do that as well. There's also a comment section, so you'll be able to see all of the comments made um, throughout all of this. And then here's the general information on the project. So that is our scheduling feature with Sage Construction Management. Thank you for listening.